3D old telephone with interactive parts acrylic nailer tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! So in today's video I'm going to be making a 3D telephone, and it's an old fashioned telephone, not like an iPhone or anything. So it's got the phone receiver on the curly cord that comes off the nail and you can actually hold it so you can answer a phone call or you can make a phone call if you want to spin the dial. This is something that I've been thinking about making for a long time and I'm so happy with the way it turned out and I hope you like it too and maybe give it a try. This isn't something practical that you would want to wear because it's going to just cause you trouble and get damaged and it would probably be the best. But if you're looking for just for things to practice on or to push yourself and try something new, this is definitely something I would recommend. So I hope you like it and don't forget to click subscribe to see my future videos as well. So I'm going to begin by creating my background and I'm going to start with just some black acrylic and do an overlay across my nail tip. And the reason I'm doing black underneath the gold is if you've ever used transfer foil, you're going to be aware that eventually it does wear off so you're going to want to color underneath it that you'd be fine with it showing if it did wear off and for me i decided black would be the way to go otherwise if you have a really metallic -y gold acrylic you can use that instead i just i kind of like the black plus transfer foil doesn't transfer completely so if your golds don't match it does sometimes look a little funny and then i'm going to overlay that with some clear acrylic this is going to be where I'm building my nail structure and making sure that it's nice and thin and as perfect as can be. And now I'm going to be filing it with a 180 grit file and you want to make sure that it is really nice and smooth so that the foil transfers as well as it can. And then I'm going to be painting it with gel um, gel paint. And normally I would buff the nail, but because I'm using gel paint, gel paint will sort of level off any scratches that that file may have left behind, so it's not necessary at this point. And then I'm going to throw that in my lamp for half the time I normally would. And so then I'm going to be able to use transfer foil on it, because that is what I find leaves it the perfect tackiness. So then I'm just going to take a piece of gold foil and rub it all over my nail. And then apply a layer gel sealer to protect the gold foil so it doesn't get worn as we continue the design. So then taking a piece of fishing line and some black thread, I'm going to be painting regular lacquer onto my black thread and then wrapping it around the piece of fishing line. This is to create our phone cord. This is the part that I really struggled with figuring out how to do because I wanted my phone cord to be curly. And I didn't want to use a piece of wire that would be curly because eventually if you were taking the phone on and off, the wire would become weakened just from use and so I wanted it to be something that would be durable and this is what I finally decided on and I'm very happy with the way it turned out. So I was quite happy with that little bit of inspiration that I had. I don't even know how I decided to do this. But anyways, so just create a link that you know is extra so that if something goes wrong you can do it again and let that dry and then on the nail form backing we're going to be creating our phone. So place the end of that, um, the end of your phone cord onto a bead of black just so that that can set in there. And then we're going to form that first bead into one end of the telephone receiver. That's going to be the end that you would speak into. And then add the long narrow part that you would usually hold in your hand. And then on the other end, we're going to be adding the part with the speaker in it that you would listen to. And once you have that on, I'm gonna go through and add a second layer of acrylic over the top of it, just because this the first layer never comes out very thick and you want this to have a thickness and a durability and also a realisticness because they aren't really super thin, they are a thicker device. So add just another layer of acrylic over the top of that to give it some thickness. So then I'm going to cut a really tiny piece, two tiny pieces actually, off of a refrigerator magnet and this is just an old picture frame. And so once I have those, I'm going to attach one of them to the back of my cell phone, or not cell phone, <laughs> telephone, with just some black acrylic. And then I'm going to attach the other one onto my nail tip. So I'm going to place it on the telephone, add a little bit of glue onto it, and then I'm going to flip over the phone onto the, onto the nail and hold it there. And then once you take the phone off, the one magnet will stay and the other will come with it. So then you know that the magnets are lined up properly. So then I'm going to, to make two L shapes out of a piece of wire. And then I'm just going to cut them off so that they've got nice short little ends. And these are going to be the part, the little cradle that holds the phone. And this was a little more difficult than I was planning for it to be because I was having issues with my tweezers being magnetically charged and uh, grabbing onto the wire and not wanting to let it go. 
but once I got them into place, it wasn't an issue. So I'm attaching them with clear acrylic while the phone is on there. And so this is just going to make sure that, like the magnet, everything is in the right place later on. Let that set before you continue because you don't want to mess them up once you got them in place. Once they are set, you are going to want to make the base of the phone. So I'm going to start with black acrylic and I'm going to just make that first part that kind of goes up and would hold the phone. And then we're going to create the part that would sit on the table with more black acrylic. And right now I'm not worrying about making sure that it's the right thickness or exactly the right shape. I'm just making a vague outline of it to make sure that I'm going in the right direction. So we have two rectangles and then I'm just sort of blending them together and smoothing them out. So now I'm going to cut the length of my phone cord to the right size and my scissors was not wanting to cut it. Eventually it did go through. I spared you all of the agony of watching me struggle with that. And then I'm going to attach the end of it to the base of my phone. Once that is firmly attached, I'm going to be adding another layer of black acrylic over the top of the base. And this is going to be where you're going to want to add your little bit of thickness and just making sure it's smooth and perfect. And then poke a hole into the center of that semi-wet acrylic. I'm going to now apply gel sealer over the top of this cell phone. Why did I say cell phone? <laughs> Telephone receiver. Oh my goodness, modern days. Anyways, and then also over the, over the phone base, leaving that little hole we poked we don't want to fill that up. So now on a nail form backing, I'm going to be creating my phone's dial. So I'm going to first just create a circle of black acrylic. And then once again, I'm going to be poking a hole in the center of it. So I'm going to take my tweezers, dip that in black acrylic so it doesn't stick and make my hole. So then I'm going to paint that with some gel paint, black gel paint, cure it, press a piece of foil over it, add top coat. Actually, this is gel sealer, cure it again. And then we're going to put our phone together. So first I'm going to take a head pin and put it in just to make sure it goes through the hole in my dial. And then I'm going to just fit it to see if it goes into that hole that we created on the phone as well. Cut it down to length, add some glue over the hole, put your head pin inside of it and use the smallest amount of glue that you think is possible and hold it there and try to keep the dial from getting glue on it because then it's not going to spin. And then I'm going to be painting 10 little dots around my dial with white paint. Once your 10 dots have dried, I'm going to be painting the numbers 1 through 0. And we're doing this by the way of 9. So go 1, 2, 3, and you're going counterclockwise with your numbers. And these are very small. Um, so if you need to touch them up or if you find it easier to paint them off the nail, you could paint the dial separately and then already have this part done when you attach it. That would also be fine but I did go through and I did fix up my numbers just a little bit. And then after you're all satisfied, then you can put matte top coat over the dial and you're all done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this really fun tutorial. I had a blast making it. And also don't forget to share recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'd love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye.